Uh, my name is Gene Sheridan. I'm one of the instructors at William Holland. And uh, I thought I'd show you all a little hook and catch that I use on bracelets. They're pretty simple to make. Don't take too long, don't take much wire. Um, I start out with a piece of wire three inches long and another piece three and a half inches long. And you can use silver or gold, whichever one you want. And I take a pair of pliers like these that are three and a half millimeter diameter here and five here. And I get right in the center with it and I bend that around to where both ends meet pretty good. And that's the hook part. The catch part, I use the other side, or I'm sorry, the, <laughs> the hook part, I use this side with the long wire, the three inch wire. And the catch part, I use the big side like that. All right, then I've made this pair of pliers here. It works real good. And you can put it on here like this and mash that down. But if you don't have any, which most people don't, you can take this pliers like this and you can bend it here, bend it here, bend it here until you get it looking about like a lollipop sitting on a stick kind of like that. All right, now the other, the other one, I use uh, my pliers here, and I've got a notch cut in it. And I put it like this, and then all I have to do is mash it, and it closes it perfect. And I take these pliers again, put this in here, and I don't let it stick up above, hold it tight, and just roll that around like that all the way and then roll it back and bend it like that. It makes a hook. And uh, it's a little crooked, you gotta be careful with it. All right, and it's gonna look like this when I finish, see? And this one's gonna look like this. This is a catch and this is a hook. The hook, or the catch catches the hook like this. All right, then after you got that there, then you take a pair of cutting pliers and you cut these off to one and one eighth of an inch long. Overall, one and an eighth, which would be about right here. Cut that off like that and cut this one off the same length, one and one eighth inch, like that. Cut the other one. All right, then you use these pliers again. You put the big one in the center. Now this is your catch. You put the big, big uh, dowel here in the center and you roll this over like that and close it up like that. And you do the same with the other side. You roll it over and close it up and it looks like this. Then you put your pliers on it like this, and you bend that up just a little, not much, just a little bit. And that helps the, the hook hook in the catch. All right, then you take the other one and you use the same thing. You put the big one in the middle and you hold that like this and you roll it over like this and close it up. And you get the other side and you roll it over and close it up like that. And this one turned wrong. All right. Then of course you kind of tweak them if they're not quite perfectly straight. You just kind of get them right. And uh, they're hardly ever going to be perfect until you play with them a little bit. But anyhow, then you've got two of them and they're gonna go like this, hooked together, like that. And when I make a bracelet, that's what they're for. I've got some great bracelets here. I can show you how they go together, the hook and the catch 
is like this. And when you make a bracelet, you leave a little space in between so that when you hook it, it's got tension to pull back so it doesn't come apart. And that's one of the bracelets that I make. And uh, they're all basically the same. They're just different designs and stuff. And when I make a bracelet, there's one thing I really hate. I hate to have to make a hook and a catch. So I make up a bunch of them ahead of time. That way I got them ready. All I have to do is put them on the bracelets. And that's all. I hope y'all get something good out of this.